INFPs usually live away from society, away from the power games, away from the structures. Self-actualized INFPs prefer these ways of being, living in nature, living in uh, secluded areas, living away from uh, where the, the world is more overwhelming, where the world is more tough, where the world is more harsh. The world is kind of crappy in a lot of ways. There's a lot of issues in the world and, and people are just nasty to each other and people behave horribly and they fight and bicker and steal and rob and kill and all these things and it's just like why can't people think a little bit more or feel a little bit more and and kind of go into themselves and see like is this really in accordance to who i want to be as a human they have that strong fi they know who they are they know what they want they know what they like they know what's important and where can I TE find where that is accepted out here in this horrible world? It's them versus the world, right? So no wonder the INFPs, people with high savior FI, depression, right? Where is your dreamland going to be found? It's not here at your job. Your boss is stopping you with that. It's not in America. That's a horrible country. Everywhere you go, you just are never at home. The world is never the way it should be. They like learning more about people they like studying people they are like reporters asking a lot of questions understanding and testing you and under observing who you are and how you behave and how you treat others INFPs act as ethical compasses in a sense they advise they give feedback on how we should live and how we should treat ourselves and how we should treat others around us INFPs tend to become people that are highly respected for their personality, for standing up for themselves, for developing a unique way of dressing, being, talking, and expressing themselves. In order to communicate your ideas and your ideals with the outer world, you need to find a way to express yourself, express your tastes and beliefs and values and things like that. Modesty and honesty is often interrelated. A person that is more modest is also often more honest about themselves. They don't try to be something they're not. They don't try to cover up. They don't try to uh, f lie to fit in. So INFPs might sometimes feel bad about this. They might feel uh, that their honesty and their modesty won't get them anywhere, that they need to lie or pretend to be something they're not to get approval, or that they will never be accepted by society because they can't lie, because they can't fake like other people seem to be able to. Now INFPs recognize that there is a strength in being honest and that the person that becomes honest and turns out to be right in hindsight gains a lot of respect. INFPs often struggle with structure and discipline. It can sometimes feel to them as if society is made by and for people of a more rigorous and judgmental temperament than their own. This struggle will often become more salient when they reach adulthood. And people like Stephen Colbert or whoever, right? Just some older INFP that has found a place where they're doing what they love, even though 90% of their day turns out is doing shit they hate. But the trade-off is they found something that is rewarding. That's been the big breakthrough that I've seen the past however many years of my life of like, oh, it's not about finding some place in reality where my saviors and demons magically get along and people magically agree with who I am and all this shit. It's where can I find the job that's going to be sucky as any other fucking job? There's going to be douchebags there. There's going to be things that I don't like, I don't agree with. But at the end of the day, is it fucking worth it? right? INFPs have introverted feeling. They're very different. And this causes different imbal imbalances. This causes different imbalances in their lives. An INFP is going to have big fears about how are they going to fit in with everyone else? How are they going to take uh, their values and priorities and make it work in the real world? How is their identity, which they know really well, going to fit in with everyone else? Yes, fitting in really does seem to be one of the most central themes to being an INFP. It's something you think about and constantly relate to. How do I compete with those strong, confident, pushy and uh, show-offy individuals that stand around me? How do I get noticed for who I am and appreciated for 
my own thoughts, my own ideas, when other people are so much more aggressive and forceful about what they want. But INFP, remind yourself that you do not just want to be seen. You do not just want to be confident. You do not just want to be powerful. You do not just want to fit in. You want to fit in for who you are, for what you value, for what you think. Most of the time it's because you have ideas you want to share. Most of the time it's because you feel something is important to you and you want the world to listen to and hear you out when you talk about it. You do not just want to fit in or be like anyone else. You want the world to recognize you for who you are. And that's the only reason why you're trying to put yourself out there. This was five perspectives on being an INFP and I thought it was fascinating to hear how similarly we think despite the fact that we come from different theories, different channels, different projects, different backgrounds, we all seem to say and feel the same way about the INFP personality type and we still seem to talk about such similar thematics. Which INFP message did you relate to? What YouTuber really connected with you in this video? Let me know in the comments down below and thanks for watching and thanks to all YouTubers for making this amazing content and sharing it with the world.